Ooh-wee. All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man, Grip. <sighs> Just finished doing a... <clears throat> HELOC sinuses has been bothering me. HELOC got that done. Did a last-minute um, power of attorney last night. Somebody called me about 9 o'clock last night to do one real quick for them. Knock that out. Um, <clears throat> so I got, what, three closes a day and everything so like i said i did the heloc real quick and then at 11 about 10 minutes down the road at 11 go knock that out and then i got one at 6 30 this evening and then um got a good little bit at the end of this month so i'm gonna stay busy this week um get it all done and everything so i'm gonna talk about this one more time I know, a person. I don't think it's going to do any good for me to say anything about it, but the question keeps coming up. Um, and I don't know what it's going to take for people to understand and recognize how things work, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try one more time. One more time. As far as orders, the distance from where you at to where the orders is, one of the things that some of y'all have to understand is that some people live in rural areas. So for them, and they're complaining or upset about the distance they have to drive, it's because they live far out. They themselves live far out and they don't live in near a metro area. So it's an hour's drive for them. That's one aspect. <clears throat> the other aspect is the lenders are marketing these loan products or the real estate agents are marketing these homes in areas that are not around the metro area they are far further out so in other words the metro areas here the business is way out here and if you look at your area that you live in that's what you see business in is spreading further and further away from the center the cent, the city center and that's where the new homes are at. That's where the new shopping centers are at and all of that. They're spreading further and further away from the metro, the center of the metro area. And either you roll out there or you don't. Now, they don't set their pricing based off of, hey, you're here and you got to go over here. They're just saying this is what we value to work at. And then they're hoping that there's a notary that's closer to them and they'll pay them. But unfortunately, in these newer areas, there aren't any notaries over there as of yet. So they don't. Um, they're not able to get them. So they get you to get me and ask us to go. And of course, we can negotiate, ask for more money based off of distance, this, that and the other. Some of these companies aren't changing their pricing. It is what it is. And either you roll with it or you don't. Now. The difference is some of the companies that y'all are connected with, I'm not. I'm not on Mortgage Connect. I'm not on um, Title 360 because I think they're paying some low fees now. I'm not. I haven't gotten anything from Solidify in two years. I don't even know if they got my account on. I don't know. Um, I'm on AMROC. I'm not with Notary Go. I don't even really see much from CX Choice. Um, so... And then Service Link and all of these other companies. I'm really not on any of those. So those are the, a lot of the times are the platforms that are paying these very, very low fees. You got to get off of those. And, if, and not saying that you have to cancel your, your account with them, but you need to get on to SnapDocs and the signing order. But you need to also articulate in your profile that you're doing work over here so that they'll see that you got experience. Many of you are just doing work, doing work, doing work over here with these companies and you never see anything in your profile and you will not change. I mean, there's some of you out here, y'all will not change your profile because you've listened to so-and-so that has said, well, if I ran a sign a company, I wouldn't look at your profile. So you listen to that person making all this money Per year, um, no, nah, I'm not going over there. <laughs> Making all this money per year, um, 
doing basically selling you courses and you're like, OK, well, I'll do I'm going to do what they say. I ain't going to worry about my profile. But all these other companies do. You wouldn't do that going into a W-2. You would make sure your profile or your resume is looking as on point as possible. And as much as we like bragging about who we are and what we've done, I don't understand why people won't put that in their profile. So on signing order and SnapDocs, your profile does mean a lot. And in SnapDocs, you need to put the orders in. And many of you will not do that. You will not add those orders that you've done <coughs> with ServiceLink, Amrock, um, Mortgage Connect. CX Choice, Notary Go, you will not add them into your SnapDocs profile on your SnapDocs platform. Oh, had to run and grab some water real quick. <clears throat> you won't add those into your SnapDocs profile. And then the companies are like, okay, it looks, we see that you are a notary, we see that you're, but we don't see any activity from you. And because they don't see any activity from you, why would they select you? Y'all want to be selected just because. So that's why you're limited in the orders that you're getting. So they need to see that you're doing work. Those platforms that I mentioned earlier, they uh, apparently they just pay low and they may have the money to pay you more. But a lot of them have lost money because so many notaries have taken advantage of them by making them pay higher, higher fees oh i gotta change the battery in that that's slow <laughs> i'm sitting here looking i'm like wait a minute that thing is slow you know um you know that's what's happened so those companies are trying to recoup so in other words if they could pay you 85 if they could pay you 100 they're like we need to cut the fees back to this dollar amount and we'll accept a certain percentage of errors we'll we'll deal with so many errors and then we'll just make them go back and forth until they get it right it's a bad business model in my opinion, but that's what they're doing. So if you want to get with better companies, you need to put your orders in SnapDocs so that they can see that you've been doing work. You need to articulate that in your profile so that they can see that you've been doing work with companies outside of, you know, the platforms, the companies that are on SnapDocs and signing order. They need to see that, but many of you will not do it. You just won't do it and you're not going to do it. And you're going to continue fussing about why can't I get any orders? Ask, you know, you keep asking, well, Griff, you keep getting all these orders from SnapDocs. How are you getting orders from SnapDocs? Because I put everything in SnapDocs. That's why I got right now, I'm probably behind it. I'm going to be spending the rest of this week getting caught up um, doing that and adding in all of my orders. I probably should be at about 3,000 orders that I've done, and I'm going to put them all in SnapDocs. That's just what I do. It takes a little bit of effort, this, that, and the other, but it works. The other thing, and that's with the distance, so people are living, um, yeah, you know, they're living further away, all this, that, and the other. Um, it's not a whole, I mean, if you live in a rural and you got to drive 45 minutes to an hour to get to the metro, and that's where the orders are at, that's not on them, that's on you. Not saying that you got to move out of the country, but that's just the way it is. Um, so from there, the big issue is, you know, they're paying, you know, um, they put the order out for, say, $85 or $75, and then they ended up pushing the fee all the way up to $125. Well, a lot of times, those companies are paying that extra fee out of their profit. So if they was getting, so looking at my calculator here, can't show y'all, but looking at the calculator, let's just say the order was for one, they, the signing company got paid $150, and they paid you $85. So that means they got 65 and you and they're getting 65 and you're getting paid 85. When you say, well, I can't do it. I don't want to do it for 85. So now you want 100, which means what? They're paying you 100 and they're getting 50. At some point in time, that company is going to get, get to a point to where they're not going to be making any money off that order whatsoever. And I know you don't care but they care. So they're like, this is all we have. And this is, and we have to pay you out of that. Now, if they're getting to a point where they need to really pay out more than what the overall order, meaning somebody wants $200 or 250 and all of that for the order, 
then they got to go back to the uh, title company and say, hey, because of these factors, this person is asking for this amount. So that's why I always share with y'all, articulate why you're saying no to the order. And I will, I say, this is a two hour round trip, $20 tolls, this, that, and the other. And more than likely, I don't get it. I still won't get it. But I let the company know that here's what's going on. I tell them, I say, this is um, traffic time. So anybody going out that way is going to have a hard time because of rush hour traffic, things of that nature. Not going to be able to make it for same day drop. All of those things, that's what I do. Because I'm trying to help notaries out. And I'm trying to get the signing company to understand that there's more to this than just run out over here to Suffolk at 5 o'clock. Going to Suffolk in my area at 5 o'clock depending on which area you're going to be in traffic and this, and you want me to have by five o'clock and it's three 30 and you don't have the documents ready. It's going to be a, it's going to be a mess. That's just what I do. Um, you want me to go over to the Eastern shore for $85. That's not going to happen. Um, because more than likely it's an hour and a half one way trip there plus $20 in tolls and the traffic. Now, $85 to go to Chesapeake or somewhere around here. And I, okay, cool. I got you. But over there, it's a little bit different. Things of that nature. So, and I've always told y'all that. I always told y'all that. So, any company that starts off here and then they keep carrying the price up, more than likely it's because they're taking money out of their pockets to pay us a higher fee. But that's not sustainable. And if that company is in, has an agreement with the title company, and some of them do, the title company is like, we're only paying you $150. do not ask for any more money. That's why sometimes, which y'all notice, there's a company called Client First. They tend to send out work on signature closers. They will send it out on signature closers, and if they don't get anybody to pick up the order off of signature closers, then it comes over the signing order. Yeah, for the same fee, for the same exact fee, but they tend to go with signature closers first. And if nobody picks it up off of signature closers, then about maybe 10, 15 minutes later, I will see it pop up on signing order. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. So these companies are on multiple platforms. Now. I don't know what you what you plan on doing or how you plan on running your business, but this is where we're at right now for a temporary amount of time. And things could be way worse than what they are. I'm just encouraging y'all to just go out here and work. But if you're a person who don't want to work, you're not willing to do it, then I get it. You know, if you put yourself in a position where you live an hour away from the metro. There's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing the signing company going to do about that. That is what it is. Um, if you're constantly stuck with these low, lower paying companies like signing, like CX Choice, Mortgage Connect, Service Link, I guess Title 365 now, Notary Go, all of them. And and you're just doing all your orders through them and you're not doing anything for making yourself look more valuable to these other platforms and don't be paying that $40 a year to be on those platforms. That stuff ain't working for nobody. Um, and you won't put your stuff in the signing. I mean, in the snap docs, you won't change your profile. Then there's nothing nobody can ever do for you because none of these notary trainers have the ability to get you work. They're telling you what you need to do, but the companies who want to hire you, they're looking at it different. They're like, we want to see that you've been doing the work. And if you won't go out here and do the work, then how will we know that you've done the work and you have the background and experience? So we're at a at a little bit of a dilemma here as to what you're going to do. Um, you're either going to poop or get off the pot. You're going to go out here and run your business the way it needs to be ran. But then that means you got to take some time out and learn and figure out how business should be ran and get out of the emotionalism of it and get into the practicality of it. All right. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace.